Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Digital Filing. In this video, we'll show you how to file a CT600 along with micro entity IXBRL accounts directly to HMRC using our software. Let's get started. To start, log in to your Easy Digital Filing account. You can start a new filing by clicking on the Add Filing button in the top right hand corner and select the Quick Start menu. Now click on Micro Company to begin a new filing. You'll see a checkbox labelled Create Company's House Accounts Filing. If you're only filing to HMRC and not Company's House, untick this box. If you are submitting to both HMRC and Company's House, leave it ticked. Once that's set, click Get Started to move on. You'll now be taken to the Micro Company IXBRL Accounts screen. First, enter the previous financial year. If this is your first set of accounts, you can leave this blank and instead complete the date of incorporation. You can use the arrow icon beside the field to automatically calculate this based on your accounting reference date. If you filed your last accounts using our software, click Import. This will auto-fill the previous year's figures in your income statement and balance sheet, helping you to compare periods more easily. If this is your first year filing with us, you'll need to enter the prior year's values manually. Next, you'll see a box to enter the number of employees. This is the average number of employees over the period you are reporting on that you are paying through PAYE. If you don't have any employees, enter zero. Now move to the income statement section. Here, enter your turnover or sales along with any cost of sales, administrative expenses and other income or expenditure. Each amount goes into its corresponding box. Make sure the figures you enter are for the current accounting period. If it is your first year trading, please leave the prior year's figures blank. Once done, head to the balance sheet. Here, you'll input your company's assets such as cash, stock and equipment, followed by liabilities such as creditors or loans. Be sure your balance sheet actually balances. Total assets must equal total liabilities plus equity. If you're unsure, feel free to contact us via the secure online chat. Next, click on Balance Sheet Notes. In this section, you'll need to provide a short statement of the company's principal activity, for example, software development or online retail. You need to enter the name of the director who's approving the accounts. And you also need to input the approval date. This should be the date that the director has signed the accounts. If you have any additional notes to add, you can add them here. Once all fields are complete, click Save and then select Ready to File. This confirms that the account section is finalized and ready to be attached to the CT600. Now move on to the CT600 return. Start in the Company Information section. Check that the company name, registration number, UTR and accounting period are correct. Next, go to the Tax Calculation page. In this section, enter your total trading income in box 145, then enter your expenses, such as salaries, rent or business costs, in box E1. If the company made a profit, corporation tax will be calculated automatically based on current rates. If the company made a loss, the loss will be recorded and carried forward or offset, depending on your circumstances. There are additional sections you can complete depending on tax adjustments you need to make. Once complete, make sure to review the calculation carefully. Then, move on to the declaration page. Here, you'll need to enter the name of the person submitting the return, usually a company director or agent, state their position, for example, director or company secretary, and then enter the date of the submission. Before saving, make sure the correct IXBRL accounts file is selected in box 91A. This box confirms that the accounts are being submitted in the correct tagged format. Once everything is reviewed and accurate, click Save, then Ready to File. You're almost there. On the main filing screen, click the card icon to proceed with the payment. You'll see a breakdown of the package selected and the applicable price. Complete the payment using your preferred method. Once payment is successful, click the arrow icon to continue. You'll now be able to click Submit Filing to HMRC. When the submission has gone through, you'll see a confirmation on screen. You can then download your submission artifacts, which include a copy of the CT600 return, your IXBRL tagged accounts, 
and the submission receipt from HMRC. These documents are useful for your records and you can access them at any time from your dashboard. If you are also filing accounts to Companies House, you will need a Companies House submission filing. And that's it. You successfully filed your CT600 and micro IXBRL accounts to HMRC. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more simple guides on company filings and digital tax. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.